Your WCBI First Alert AccuWeather Forecast on CW4 with meteorologist Trevor Burchett. Another lovely day of weather across North Mississippi and West Alabama today. I set the time lapses up to get a look at that sunset and things turned out pretty nicely. Here's the view from that Alpha Insurance camera network. You see the sun slowly setting in the horizon. Hardly a cloud to be found. In fact, I don't see any clouds all across the area. And a lovely sunset to boot with all of those lovely colors right there at the end. And a really nice night, honestly, across the area. Maybe a light jacket if you're headed out. But overall, not too bad for the middle of October. Those lows this morning, though, they were downright bone chilling. 36 degrees this morning in Columbus. 38 in Houston. 37 in Bruce. Our average low, 50 degrees. And as a matter of fact, I went back and checked. The last time we were this cold in Columbus, this early in fall, was 2000, 20 years ago. Not to say that's how winter is going to shape up. Usually it doesn't have a big impact on our future seasons, but interesting to note that we are a little cooler to start off this fall season. Out there right now, we are a little cool out there as well. 58 in West Point, 54 in Starkville, 55 in Oxford. We're down into the 40s up in Monroe County and Aberdeen. 52 is the official report in Northern Lowndes County at the Air Force Base. Now, you might have noticed today as well some chapped lips, a little bit more static electricity. That's because our dew points are very low. That's the amount of moisture in the air. So whenever you see numbers in the 30s and 40s, it's very dry. That also led to some fire weather concerns. We reminded you on social media today, don't do any outdoor burning and don't throw your cigarette butts because it could quickly lead to a fire in these dry conditions. But fortunately, the dry weather is on its way out. It's going to move off to the north and east, and we're going to have a cold front approach the area tomorrow and Monday. Now, unfortunately, that front is not going to get here. It's just going to kind of get hung up just to our north, but it is going to help to usher in some moisture from the south and east. So that means through next week, we are much warmer and we have the better chance for a few isolated showers by the middle of the week. Tonight, no rain expected. 47 for the low, not quite as cold under a partly cloudy sky and another beautiful day tomorrow. A touch warmer, 78 for your Sunday with just a few high clouds passing on by. Now, as I mentioned, we do our, we are going to increase the chance for some isolated showers here. Really a 10 to 20% chance through the middle of the week. Better rain chances are going to come in for us by Friday and Saturday as a second cold front is going to approach the area, but we're going to cross that bridge when we get there for now. Beautiful weather for the next several days. Temperatures slowly warming into the mid 80s by the middle of the week. 85 Wednesday and Thursday. Again, an isolated shower possible. Our best rain chance comes in by Friday and Saturday. Of course, that can change. Just keep an eye on it. Overnight low is going to be a little more mild as well into the 50s and 60s through the next seven days.